16,000. That's how many cars travel over one Wichita bridge every day. Well, the city is looking to make some major changes to it, but some drivers are pushing the brakes. KSN's Hannah Adamson joins us live near the Amadon Bridge tonight. Hannah, you spoke with a number of city officials behind the project. The assistant director of public works and District 6 Councilwoman Maggie Ballard both tell me this bridge behind me, it's 58 years old, it's dangerous, and it needs to go. But the big question is whether or not the city will keep one lane of traffic open during construction of a new bridge or just simply tear down the old bridge all in one piece. Typically, if you're looking at replacing a bridge, you're going to close the entire bridge down to do that. City engineer Gary Jansen says tearing down the Amadon Bridge all at once will mean big savings for Wichita. To close the road and, and take the bridge down, that's $7.5 million. To go to one lane is about $2.7 million more. But several are concerned that could deal an economic blow to businesses and slow down EMS response times. If I had it my way, we would leave at least one lane open so that um, fire and EMS can get from the north to head south. I mean, that's... That's something that I that I'm really concerned about. But Jansen says one open lane will most likely double how long it takes to get the job done. Closing the bridge down is 14 months. We think just keeping one lane open will go to at least 24 months. While detours have been set up, Jansen and Ballard say the city will continue to seek public input. We're looking at different options. Like I said, there's five and it goes all the way from we don't do anything right away to completely closing it down to replace the whole thing. We will go back to the district advisory board in May to talk about what we've decided where we're at and, and what we plan to do. The city plans on holding an informational meeting Thursday about the project. The public is invited to attend. We'll have all the details on the meeting on our website. That's KSN.com. Here for you in Wichita, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3.